Hi, you reached out with American Temperature Control Building Performance Solutions. We're in a customer's cold garage with a utility room attached to it. And unfortunately, this for us has a cracked heat exchanger. So my process today is to show you what it looks like to replace a heat exchanger and up close look at what a cracked heat exchanger looks like. To explain further, you have your blower motor compartment up here, combustion burner area here, and inside behind all these components and safety devices is your heat exchanger. So we're going to remove all these components and get into the heat exchanger and replace the, the heat exchanger. We know there's at least two cracks, uh, if not more. So um, stay tuned and this should be fun today. Thanks. And here we go. switch is where we found the cracks in the heat exchanger just inside here. There's two at least here. We'll see how many other cells that make up the heat exchanger. We have one, two, three, four, five cells that make up the heat exchanger. Question gets to go in here, comes out here and exhausts it up. These are your individual cells that make up the heat exchanger. A little hard to see here. Here is your crack. There is another crack. Right here. Yep. Here, three, right in here is a four. See that okay or not? And 
you know, five, six. Compared to the old ones and the heat stress that the old one has. Reassembled the heat exchanger with the face plate and we'll try now to install in the furnace. Here's how you fully assemble the heat exchanger in place. The use more turns on, close the fire switch, the TV components so that everything's good to go. The ignitor turns on, glows red hot, burns turn on, the flame sets catches the burners, everything works fine. In about a minute and a half, the blow motor will turn on, creating heat for the home. If you have any questions about your furnace and would like a precision to help to check out the quality of your furnace and heat exchanger, it's been done for all the call. Solutions, 847-428-4328.